Don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, don't hesitate to say, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe. Don't you want me, hey, babe? Don't you want me, oh? Hey, babe. Hey, babe. How you doing? We have our guest, Laura Compton. Hey, babe. Hello. How are you, babe? How's Laura everything? Compton, California. Yes. So I, ghetto. How, um, but you're not from Compton. It's so hard to see your eyes. Thank you. We, uh, <laughs> I, we, I needed to blur my vision for this podcast. <laughs> um, we dressed up today because we knew that you would be elevated oh, in dress. Yes. You so look we amazing, and Thank we you. were, we felt, yeah, we felt a little bit like, you know what, normally we just schlep in, but I wanted to look, uh, <laughs> yeah. I wanted to look nice. You look fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, I feel, um, I feel a little self-conscious that I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt, but I, because you have a cocktail party vibe going oh, on. Oh, I right just now. wanted to wear something casual. Uh, is this casual? Yeah. Really? Just comfortable, you know, just roll out of bed, throw myself together. <laughs> yeah. You ever see that a naked gun <laughs> where he's like, I'm going to slip into something more comfortable? Yeah. And he takes off his suit and puts on another <laughs> suit. Another <laughs> suit. <laughs> Um, Laura has a great podcast called First Date with Laura Compton. Lauren. Um, and Lauren. Lauren. That's what I said. <laughs> I, I, uh, would you take, would he be a good first date? Absolutely not. <laughs> that would be a red flag. <laughs> yes. I think, listen, for me, I think I am a good first date. Yeah. I think, well, I'm a fun facts guy. I think I know I, I could come to a first date with a lot of fun facts, mm -hmm. probably one or two of my children. And I think that. <laughs> I think that I I read a lot. I read a lot. That's good quality on a first date. It's like you just remembered that. Yes. Yes. yes hold on. It's also it's also a lie. Um, no, I do read a lot. You read so much. I read every. You ready for my he schedule? Reads every morning he reads like five captions in the morning. on Instagram. No, I t yes. He's no. very well read for real. I read. I read every morning. I uh, not this morning. I was at your house last night. You were literally going through the bookshelf, going through the authors and what they're like. Yes. What, yeah. But but you. We got me and Sal hung out last night, and we got like next level drunk. Yeah. We got drunk and high. We were drinking red wine. We had a pizza party. Yep. Ooh. And we had a good time, right? Always. Kids, kids were there. Fell asleep. Girls, it was great. <laughs> we, but I it's normally I try to wake up for my children wake up at five a.m. and I try to read, do my I, reading and writing at five a.m. to read is insane. But I couldn't. I couldn't today. Today okay. I woke up eight o'clock, full junkie, piece of shit. Didn't read a goddamn thing. Okay. I didn't read a goddamn thing, but on a first date, I would be prepared. I would come in. I would come in. I think with something to say. I'd have a quote or something lined up and try to wiggle it in there to try okay, to come up. So that's off how like you I'm kill smart. on a first date. You come I try prepared, to prepare with a quote. I'd come in with prepared bullshit. Yeah. Right. That's a red flag. Well, you okay. are saying, so you. So you started the podcast. Uh, like, why did why did you start this type of podcast? Why do like are you? Uh, well, we wanted to do something really fun and different, yeah. and it took quite a bit of um, massaging to come up with this idea because we uh. didn't want to do like a typical interview style. Sure, right. sure, so sure. we wanted to do something that was a little bit more curated, and we came up and with first date. Do you feel yourself an expert at reading people? <laughs> or first, like, no, I mean, like, no. are you? It's just, just you know. <laughs> It's just your own opinion. <laughs> well, I don't even I really have an opinion. So the whole date, I mean, the whole date is on uh, like a POV of me on a first date with the celebrity across from me. Right. And so I have a menu and I have appetizer questions, main course questions, and then dessert oh, question. And so I go through the menu and I ask Trish, questions Trish, and we Trish. try to find out what it's like to date the other person. Wow. Yeah. So can we them. play it a, a little bit now with us or we or or no, because then if we ever go on your show, we already like did your show. You know what I mean? The menu changes all the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's an appetizer question? Um, if you were, if it was like you were on death row and you had one meal that you could eat, what would it be? I know that already. What would it be? I would eat a bowl of cereal with an English muffin with butter, and then I would have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I would have ravioli. I can't tell you how many people pick three meals. Yeah. <laughs> red flag. Red three. flag. Tell I'm him. Picking red flag. my favorite meal of each. <laughs> I'm, about, I'm, I'm about to peace out. Which cereal? <sighs> I'm going to go with Captain Crunch Berries. I just, you know, because mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Health okay. doesn't matter at that okay. point. Okay. Yeah. If I was living still, maybe I'd go with like a, yeah. a special kid. You got to go out with a bang. Yeah. Full tummy. What about wow. you? Um, fettuccine Alfredo with grilled chicken. God, that's so American. Thank you. That's where I'm from. <laughs> Red, white, and blue. Uh, yeah. I, I, I think I would. What would you do, pimp? Steak. Just a steak? Some kind of fancy just meat. steak. Just yeah. straight up protein. Yeah, why not? You don't have to go out with keto on your brain, you know? You could carb yes. it up. You're about to die. 
too much. Yeah. I can't Whatever. see. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put the hat back on. The, it get, these goggles are so they're so blurry. Put that on. You can't see. You can. You just see like silhouettes of people. Is that for skiing or what? No, no it's for whatever you want it to be. No, believe. it's for that NBA when they like win the championship and you know like the champagne celebrations. Yeah. They put on Is those goggles. Right? Yeah, oh. it's, it has NBA on the side. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Okay, so so wait, so I have a question. Just a, so so sorry, Ben. No, so but is this an appetizer or a main course? That no, was an appetizer. I, no, I have a, but is on in your on your podcast like do, do do you is it a conversation two-way conversation? Yeah. Oh, it is. So like I'm also finding out about like you're you're kind of like Yeah. In it? Okay. I try to keep it more pointed towards the guests. Okay. Um and I do like a little bit of a speed round kind of questions mm -hmm. because we're trying to find out more about the other person. Who's judging ultimately if they are dateable or not? Me. Mm. You're the judge and jury. Yeah, so I call out red flags. I call out green flags. We recap them at the end, and then I decide if they're worthy of a second date or not. What's a green flag? A green flag is like when I ask someone about, like, what's the key to a good relationship? And then they're like, communication, green flag. That is true, though. It's a good, oh, a green flag is a good flag? A green flag is a yeah, good flag. A red go. flag is Have bad. Have you ever yeah. heard of a green flag ever? Um, I know Uzbekistan. No, but I've never heard of someone say, "Oh, that was." A, I never heard someone say, "Oh, that was." A, that's a green flag. Yeah, green flag. Okay. Green flag. Because most people only point out red flags. Right. But that's not fair. Okay. Right. You gotta have some good shit going on. I like right. that. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna work around just hand out green flags. Now, is money a green flag or a red flag? Green flag. Ron White came on, and he was all about money, and I just couldn't give that guy enough green flags. Right. Money. Okay. Okay. Listen, that makes sense. You know, you, you you're talking about having money, right? Having money. How is that a bad thing? Right. It can't. Well, because here's the thing, because if the money doesn't buy you freedom, what good is the money? Some people are in gilded golden cages because of their money. Well, Ariana that, Grande said it best. God is a woman. <laughs> well, what did she say? It was the thing about money. She what said God is quote? a woman. What was her quote? What are uh, Vanity Van is smoking a cigarette. I, no, wait. It was in her song, <laughs> Nine Rings. It was, uh, they say uh, money can't buy you happiness, but you have never had enough money. Thank you, next. Th th wait. Thank you, next. Pete Davidson. Yeah, I was like, God um, damn it. Uh, Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Uh, <laughs> thank you, next. She was Whoever like, said money can't solve your problems must not have had enough money to solve them. There you go. That's Bang. her. I don't know about that quote. <laughs> That's a, that's not a good look. But I feel like money can solve a lot of problems. Yeah. It can, it can. And if it, it hasn't can. solved yours, it's because it, you don't have enough money. Right. It can it can solve a lot of it can, I think money can solve a lot of problems, not all of them. Yeah, but right? mo money. Mo yacht trips. Uh, okay, okay. Okay. Don't all you right, think rich right. guys cheat more? I feel like if you date a billionaire and he cheats, you just kind of like I'm sorry, did you say close your eyes. a billionaire? And you just a billionaire? A billionaire. Even? Okay, you just skipped the first nine hundred and ninety-nine. don't even count. That's like not wow. enough money to cheat. These days. But if you're a billionaire. <laughs> it really has gotten to that, where if you are a millionaire now in this country, it's like, who gives a fuck? Every, yeah. yeah like, you, nobody cares, which is what, I feel like that's not good. No. I feel like that's not good for our economy, right? No. It's like, these hats are shit. Can tight, I know. Right? Keep like, going. Well, it's so funny that you were like, "If you date a guy with money," she's like, "Well, if you're dating a billionaire," and I'm like, "Wait, whoa." Uh, no, I'm saying a billionaires. Billionaires are more likely to cheat, right? Because they're like the cream of the crop now. Millionaires right. are a dime a dozen. You yeah. can't cheat if you're a millionaire. A girl will go find another millionaire. Right. But yeah, a billionaire. Oh, we are in a bad, bad shape. Then. Bad shape. I didn't realize. It, I didn't realize that this was like kind of what the. the what new... about what about this? What about guys with kids? Green flag, red flag. For some, it's red. For some, it's green. I know quite a few girls that prefer to date guys with kids so that they don't have to have them. Right. Oh, I thought you were going to go with because they have senses of responsibility. That No, it's just because they don't want the kids. They don't want to ruin Sometimes their Sometimes women don't want to have kids. Right. Sometimes guys don't want to have kids either. Yeah. Like, I mean, then, the things yeah. it does to your then body and your hormones incident. and it makes you absolutely psycho. Have you been on a lot of bad first dates or good first dates? Like, do you have like on the show or in general? I mean, in general, <laughs> that inspired the show. You know, like in general, like you have any nightmare stories or um, first date nightmare stories? Man, I think like the worst first date I ever went on was with a a guy that was a fan, and I didn't know. I didn't know that he, he was like a hardcore fan oh, wow. until like the end of the date and then i was like terrified to like i didn't know how to like he really... admitted at the end yeah he was like oh i've been following you for like ever Whoa. and i'm like oh yeah really he yeah. Said, and online yeah and he just knew like my jokes and stand up <laughs> he took and he you was home, like you didn't my even favorite tell him your one. address like, oh 
well, yeah, I was like, I couldn't tell him. I was like, mm, I'm just going to get an Uber. He's like, I can drive you home. I was like, over my dead red flag body. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, that's what he wanted, it over your dead body. Yeah. I think that was like one of the weird, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, yeah, I guess that's, but I think the thing is, though, especially with social media and being a bit in the public eye, whomever you date, if you're single, they're going to probably have at least look you up mm. and know something about you. Yeah. That's the thing you're going to have to just so you're going to have to date someone who's you're going to have to probably be with like an ath, uh, like an athlete or like <laughs> a country music singer. You're going to have to be with Chris Stapleton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, my boyfriend owns a barbecue restaurant, like a really famous one. Oh, so you have a boyfriend. I do. Oh, is but it, you're going on it, first dates it on the Dave's pod. famous barbecue? <laughs> it's a it's a very famous barbecue restaurant. Have you been to Austin lately? Yeah. So you know Terry Black's? Yes. Yeah, no, you're Terry dating Black's. Terry Black? His son. Okay. Okay. One of them. <laughs> right. He's a twin. We went to I went to Terry Black's. Um uh, when I was there last, and I enjoyed it. I liked the macaroni and cheese. Not I nothing what to I add. thought you were going to say. Yeah, I had nothing <laughs> to add. And, um, yeah, this is that's the show. How'd you date a barbecue heir to a barbecue fortune? Well, he actually started the restaurant. He did? Terry Black's son. Started the restaurant. There's a lot of family history with that, um, but they started the restaurant and named it after their dad. Oh, okay, cool. Him and his brother. So what's it like dating someone who has a twin? It's... Not that weird. He's not an identical twin. Oh, uh, okay. okay. But he's like fraternal. It's like <laughs> everyone always says that they're like, oh, then it doesn't oh, even count. It's almost like I kind of feel time. like I kind of. You're just a If brother. I'm gonna be honest with you, they're I kind of feel age. like if you're if you're a fraternal twin, then don't say you're a twin. Just say I have a brother. Yeah. Because if you're gonna tell me you're a twin, it better look exactly <laughs> like you. But wait, what, if what? not, I don't care. I don't care what happened in utero. Right. He needs to look exactly <laughs> like you, and then this is something to talk about. Well, let me ask you this: it, it, What if fraternals are two? Egg, one, two. One. Fraternal, you ready for this? Splits, splits. No, no that's it. No, no. fraternal, yep. uh, identical. Shut up. Identical hits and then splits into two eggs. No, hit it and split it. It's fraternal. No, identical hits it, bang, and then it splits. Ident into two. That's identical. Right. You got the same DNA. Fraternal. I think you pop two. I think you hit two eggs at the same time. With one, right? With two different sperm results from the fertilization of two separate eggs. So you hit one sperm. No, two sperm, two eggs. That's insane. Two sperm, two. So you just got pregnant twice. You, you pregnant? Yeah. So you really did just get pregnant twice. Exactly. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. But wait, how do you have two eggs? Hun, what do you mean? Isn't there just one egg? Some, it depends how you, how you drop them. But I thought people just, for the most part, they, you know what's I think a wild they drop the I'm about no? to tell you. Do you know what's wild? If, like, if you're, when the woman is pregnant with a girl, okay, at like six or seven weeks in utero, so like I'm talking about the, the baby is seven weeks old inside the mom, that fetus already has, female fetus already has all the eggs it will have in its life. Yeah. Or, isn't that bizarre? That's the weirdest How like thing life ever, yeah. just Crazy. is like, yeah. that's the first thing they set up is like, you're going to have ways to have more life. Wow. Um, Something else. So your boyfriend has a different, was made from a different sperm than his brother. Wild. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you ready for this? Sperm can live in the vaginal walls for like three days. So you could, if you, you know, if you're a lady who's out there, you could get pregnant by two different men dropping two different I eggs. Never heard, and no, have, uh, no. Have you ever heard of it? That's insane. You're Google blowing it. my beast. Google it. Have you heard of that? No. Google it. So, so you could have. So what? Are, what super fu fungation twins. Super fun super fungation twins. <laughs> <laughs> Super when a woman up. has intercourse with two different men in a short period of time while ovulating, it's possible both men impregnate her separately. So two different sperms. What two I men, tell y'all? Are they? Are they? But then what are That's they? That's my question. Are they fraternal twins? I think they're just good friends. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is my really good friend, Bob. Good, good friends. friends. Yeah. Oh wow, that's crazy. My dad's a twin with uh his his twin was a woman. My aunt. My aunt. She passed away, but. He oh, was wow. a twin with a woman. And he said, fraternal twins, but he said when she was dying, she died of um, a lung disease, he felt like they weren't together, but he felt like he couldn't like really breathe. Like he was like, I, oh, I don't know what was going on. That. That's wild. Yeah, and he was yeah. like, it's all like connected. Isn't yeah. that wild? I asked, I asked Mark the other day if he ever felt like that, and he said no. He said he doesn't have like any like special... Mark Black. Yeah, connection to his brother. Could it be a super fundamentation twin then? Could it be that maybe... <laughs> You should, I don't, because he should be able to feel connected to his brother. I don't know. It's possible. 
I don't know. Is uh, his brother good looking? I got the cute one. Right. Okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. You, the, the cuter one. In I got your the opinion. cuter one. I'm trying he's to the you. stupider one, but he's the cuter one. Okay. But you want that's what you want. Just kidding. <laughs> what? This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Yes. Look. Tell me about that. I want you to talk to me about BetterHelp. I, then I'm going to jump in. I, I think that people should know that they're not alone in what we all relate to, no right. matter who you are. And right. for me, I'm always going through it. Yeah. Relationships, my job, yep. down to the littlest decisions I make. I'm someone who is an anxious person, has a little bit you know, anxiety and stuff, and I need to get better at making decisions. And you know, and one thing you're always talking about is practice. You're always right. talking about practice. I'm talking about practice all the time. I'm talking about practice all the time. Mm. And with, even with, with, with um, uh, BetterHelp... The more you practice, the easier it gets, you know, because if you trust yourself to make the decisions that align with your values like you always do. I do. Practice makes perfect. And with BetterHelp, what I like about it, the thing I like most about BetterHelp, no, you don't actually physically have to go to a therapist. Well, office. that's the difference, because I, yeah. when I started therapy, I was going like to the place. Right. This is so convenient. If you are thinking about it, if you've done it before, it's all online. You get a licensed therapist right away. It's designed for that. It's de right. designed to be flexible and convenient and suited to your schedule. Right. So let like therapy you. flexible. You're flexible and convenient. And, and I'm suited to your schedule. You are. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash HeyBabe today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash HeyBabe. Hello, Fresh. Hi. America's number one meal kit. That's it, baby. That's what they do. It's the best. Banish the end of summer blues with HelloFresh. No need to stress about how you'll handle all this fall because HelloFresh takes care of the meal planning, delivers pre-portioned ingredients right to your home. So whipping up a homemade meal is a cinch. Absolutely. And just by chance, if you've been living under a rock and you don't know what HelloFresh is, it is uh, what happens is you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You skip trips to the grocery store. You count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, affordable. And that's why I said it. That's why it is America's number one meal. Now, kit. listen, parents, we got enough back to school shopping and planning, too. I mean, I'm up to my eyeballs and back to school shopping. Don't and I know it. It's all I do. So I let HelloFresh get the groceries. I saved cash with the pre-portioned meal. Meals right to my door, and the, the family loved it, the kids loved it, and I was able to get them their back-to-school supplies that they desperately needed. I got them a bunch of pencil cases. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I, I do. I, I feel like an adult that is using technology to its... Like, yes. I, I, I like participating in HelloFresh. It makes me feel like I'm part of a community, and like, I'm, oh, I'm an adult. Yeah. I'm getting these these meals delivered to my home. Yeah. The recipes. I don't cook a recipe normally. No. Yeah. No, it's it's awesome, and then my kids play in the boxes. There they you come go. in nice, big, fun green, bo you know, uh, beige boxes with green lettering. Right now, yes. if you go to hellofreshcom slash fifty hey babe and use the code five zero hey babe, you get fifty percent off plus free shipping. What is it? Tell them one more time. Hellofresh.com slash five zero hey babe. And then use that same code five zero hey babe. You get fifty percent off plus free shipping. Again. It's America's number one meal kit. Hello, Fresh, baby. What's up, everybody? I am on the road right now. Just announced a lot of dates for my tour. They're on sale right now. You can get tickets at salvolcanocomedy.com. I'm coming to Bowling Green, Cincinnati, Toledo, Wilkes-Barre, Wilmington, Macon, Savannah, and Athens, Georgia. Uh, I'm coming to Peoria, Rockford, and Springfield, Illinois, Cedar Rapids, Duluth, Appleton, Rochester, Davenport, and Elkhart, Indiana. Gearing up to film my special in Chicago uh, in December. Tune in next week. I will give all the information about the special taping. But until then, SavileCountyComedy.com, and I'll see you guys on the road. What's up, everybody? I'm so excited. I'm back on the road after three months off. Now's your time to come see my new hour that I'm doing. I'm proud of it. We're going to film it as a special this year. This weekend, I am in Atlantic City, New Jersey at the Borgata. And then in September, I am in Los Angeles, Portland, Seattle, Las Vegas, New York City. We got some tickets left for the theater at Madison Square Garden, September 23rd. And then in October, we're in Nebraska. We're in, uh, 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 um, what's the other state? By ne Can Missouri, Kansas City, St. Louis, Hammond, Indiana. We're coming all over. And then we got November, December, January, February dates. ChristyComedy.com. Really proud of this new hour. Now's your time to come see it. Go by the Tiki Wikis, baby. Yes.
And let's talk to him about merch real quick. Yes. Real quick, ready? Let's talk about merch, baby. Let's, let's talk, talk about, about you, you and me. me. Let's talk about all the hey, babe, merch you could have on your body. Let's, let's talk, talk about, about merch. merch. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. Blacked out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just re-upped on some merch. This isn't it. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's it. But that is. Shout out Prince Paul. Sal is wearing blackface. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, guys, check out. Wait, how do we, where do they get merch? No press. No press. Dot com. Can't, Z can't, doesn't get easier than that. No press. Get, dot com. Get go merch. get the merch. Go get the merch. I don't know, man. I don't know that I would. Uh, would you want a twin? Would you want an identical twin? No, I, mean, I like sure the fraternal. Fraternal is better. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's such a unique experience. I'm sure if it happened to me, you don't want to. I mean, I'm sure every. I'm sure every twin who has an identical is very thankful and loves it. My thing is like raising kids. Like you know, I have little kids. It's like to think about. Getting my say two year old now down for a nap and get her through her bath uh, bedtime routine or whatever to then have to do that twice or to then to have the second you get one down and you get one to sleep and do what you want and then the second one doesn't want to do it and then upsets the other one your life must just be like a constant cycle of what the fuck how do I get through this yeah you it imagine, has to be really imagine tough. you're like complaining to someone and then they're like yeah I have triplets so how old are your kids. I've uh, a 13 year old stepson, eight year old daughter, and a two year old daughter. Wow. So I got, uh, yeah. A Which full one's half. your favorite? Probably my favorite. You know, I know that this is like it a change. I don't know if this is a cop out answer. I don't, I don't know that I have a favorite, but I will tell you just honestly. I'm so much more connected to my eight year old because she was my first, like my first biological child that I was like, I re my, like my life, it was the only time in my life where like truly my life for those moments when she was being born, like was like in slow motion. Like when somebody, like I was like, I remember almost every second, slow like, motion like for me. the parameters slow of time changed. Mm. I was like, oh my God. I like like, my, like that. That, mm -mm. <laughs> and I couldn't believe it. That I was like, this is my baby, and like, and just boom, connected. Where you know, and it was amazing. And I love my two-year-old just like I love my eight-year-old. But like, I don't even remember her being born. I mean, I remember her being born, but <laughs> but I think that like, I was like, you know, and you're you're an only child, yeah. I am. Yeah. So, um, how, what, did you not have my a, choice? Did you ever feel like? Did you ever feel like, ah, I, I would have rather, did you, were you fine with it? Like growing up, did you even notice that you didn't have it? Like siblings or did um, you miss the sibling not being there? No. Or you don't know anybody? I mean, I grew up in my family. My cousin lived downstairs around, from me, yeah. so she was like a sister. But, but I know, I knew that I did not want my children to be only children. I was like, I, I knew yeah. I, it'd be so much better if they had siblings because yeah. there were times where I was like this, you know, I'm just an only child. It's almost like embarrassing sometimes where I'm really? like, I don't have, any, yeah, my parents didn't. <laughs> I don't I, I don't I, I actually hate telling people I'm in not hate it but I used to be embarrassed by it so I would be so embarrassed by telling people I that I was actually an only child I swear to God where I was like 14 15 I would tell people I was one of 10 <laughs> like I, I would go like the opposite way and they'd be like what and then what I never forget one family once like one was like what are their names and I was like oh boy oh yeah did you rattle off you just I rattled, rattled off yeah I rattled just, off. okay ready ready I rattled off 10 of the 12 okay, apostles ready? all yeah. right what are the all we're taking all bets right now don't think ahead I'm gonna ask him to name nine names in a row without stammering what are the odds he's gonna do it well, can he pull this bluff off yeah you can do it I, uh, I'm one of nine you Oh, you're one oh, no, of, I'm one of ten. I, no, I'm sorry. I'm one of ten. You're one of ten. I have nine so, brothers but, and sisters. Yeah, oh, how many brothers and sisters? I have I have nine brothers and sisters. But how many brothers and how many sisters? Oh, I have I have four I have four brothers and five sisters. Okay, what are their names? Sal, Mike, Joe, Phoenix are the four boys, and then the five girls are Lauren, Venetia, Jasmine, Delilah, Violet, and Susan. Oh, but you cheated. How? You used the names of the people sitting around you. You didn't say there was no. <laughs> there was no. You didn't give me any Where guidelines. Where did Phoenix come from? <laughs> I know. Sal, All right, fine. Sal, Joe, Mike, and Phoenix. All right, fine. Uh, <laughs> like, that was the one I was in my drug phase. All right, I can't use their names. I got four brothers yeah. and five sisters. Go. Brian, Michael, Leonardo, Jeffrey are my brothers. Sure. And then my sisters are Magdalena, Mariana, Mary Lou, Lynn, and Eileen. <laughs> 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 Dude, if you would have kept the straight face, I, I mean, mean that's, like, yeah. that and then I could just 
Say it again. You want a, a little alliteration there. You went on an M run and on then you an switched M-run. it up at the end. My mother, she's, she's one of five. She's got four sisters and one brother. All the sisters' names, Maria is their middle name. It's oh, just really? Everything is Marie, Marie, Marie. Okay. Oh, that was interesting. You got siblings? No, I'm an only child. Oh, there that? you go. What was it like for you growing up? Um, Did you feel like you missed out on siblings or was it like you didn't even think of it? There was only one time in my life where I really wanted a sibling and I asked my mom if I could have a brother or a sister and she said no. We're, you and I, we're the trans version of each other. Yeah. You or I. You are me as a guy, I'm you as a woman. Okay. It's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so give us give us some more of these app, these questions that you would ask. Let me see. Yeah, well, those What's are appetizer going? questions. Yeah. Um, uh, a more of a main course question would be like, uh, how do you feel about hygiene? Like if you go on a date with a girl and she doesn't shave her armpits or her legs, like... Not necessarily like a BO smell, but how do you how do you feel about that? I don't mind hair as much as I mind. Um, a, I think a smell would be worse than hair for me. I can deal with I can deal with hair because I don't have that much hair. I'm like more of a hairless man. Mm-hmm. That's you know, and it's problematic. I, I don't grow hair, so if the woman grow <laughs> hair, I would be like that's balanced. Yeah. But I smell. I try to bathe myself. I don't like try a smell. Yeah. I try. Yeah. What would you do, Sal? I need 100% A-plus hygiene in all, fact, in all <laughs> forms. So I'm not nothing against people, you know, but I, for me, for my personal preference, I mean, it's got to be like the, the tip, 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 top hygiene. I'll ask you another question. How do you tell your girlfriend that she's getting fat? I she's probably would say would you, you do? don't. You don't? I would say, yeah, I would. Oh, I, I wouldn't would. phrase it like that. Of course not. I mean, if you're like, honest, you have a honest But she's like, let's say she's like really sort of getting a little. Plumping up? She's like a little too much for and you. And I'm, I'm not above that, right? But if I'm not and she's, and I want to say to her, because I'm concerned. Right. Because it's, it's a health thing, right? Or maybe she's like, I don't want to see her. Is that what you mean? Like maybe you're I'm even losing like, some attraction. You're like, oh man. Oh, wow. Shit. Uh, um, fuck. You find yourself looking at other girls and you're like, damn, that girl's Honestly, bad. to be honest with you. In my current situation, I would tell one of the kids to say it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do. I would, I would say, I'll give you, I'll buy you like Nutella. I'll give you unlimited Nutella till September. If you just whisper in mommy's ear <laughs> that she's getting a little fat and you don't want to lose mommy. And I'll, I'll write something down for you. And you can like, I, I would have one of the kids say it. Yeah. And then also it's a good test because I would know then if one of my kids, which one's a fat. And which one will just right. is loyal to this goddamn family, right? Like I am, right? So you, you'll have the kids neg neg your, your yes. <laughs> I think that's the best way to do it. But if you yeah. don't have, it's very difficult. I think to tell a woman or I might a man be that like, they're fat. Oh, I'm, I, you know, I, I'm thinking about like getting into shape myself, and uh, I'm going to start going to the gym and eating better. We should do it together. It was something like that. There you go. Yeah. Make that's like a good a, way. A joint effort thing. Yeah. You know, put yourself on the same boat, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, do people on your show ever be like, I would just be like, look, you're getting fat. Are they blunt like that? Um, I've had two people say that they would just break up. Is that mm-hmm. a red flag or a green? I think that's, I mean, there's, it's, How do you judge there's it? no right answer to that okay. question. It's just more of an entertaining one for me. I how would <laughs> say, how would you tell your partner if they were getting fat? Well, I like fat dudes. Okay. I like a belly. I like a guy okay. to be a little bit like, right. bigger than me. You know, it just right. ruffles okay. my Is your feathers. boyfriend fat? He's not fat, but he has a belly. He's not fat at all. Okay. But he's got, he's he's got, got a, good a belly. belly. He's yeah. got a good belly. Like, I know all about it. Oh, yeah. What would you tell no, your boyfriend? No, you look good. He's lost 30 pounds, Sal. What would you? Congratulations. Thanks. What Get fatter you if you want to be with Lauren. What would you tell him if he was getting too skinny? <laughs> 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 Hold on. I don't, I don't know. Do me a favor. Order me a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> too skinny i don't know i'd be worried I'd be like are you, do you have cancer good question <laughs> how would you receive it if someone uh, one of your partners told you that that i was getting too skinny no too fat your original question um i i think that i would be like i really appreciate the honesty and this is the end of our relationship okay. right I will say this. No, I'm just kidding. I will say that. No, but here's the thing what I will say about relationships is I do feel like my friends who don't have children, who are in relationships they don't want to be in, it's mind blowing to me why you would stay if you don't have kids as you're an adult. Younger, when we're in our 20s, I get it. You like. Sometimes that confrontation. But when you get older, I'm like, what in what world? Would you be unhappy with someone for like one day yeah. more than you need to be if you don't have children? I, I, 
But I guess only me having kids, I would know that, like, there's no reason. Then just go live your life. You'll get over it. The chemicals, you'll pee out the chemicals for that person in 21 days. Well, I, just drink water. It's also impossible to not know you're gaining weight. Like, you know that you're outgrowing your shorts and your right. clothes you, don't yeah. fit that well. So, I mean, someone telling you what you already know is probably just, I would, I think in a part of me, it would be really helpful if someone was like, like you could maybe go on a diet or something. I don't know. That'd yeah, be a horrible way, way to say it, but I'd is, uh, the issue I'm having right yeah, now. I'd yeah, I'd appreciate it in like a weird way because I'd be right. like, you know, I really needed you to kind of slit my throat for me to like stop eating. That's one way to lose oh, weight. Wow. Yeah. Bleed out. You bleed out. Bleed it out. Well, let me ask you this. My instinct when you said, how do you stay with someone for more than a day if you're having unhappy instinct. enough things, right? I would yeah. say it's, it's really hard to have that kind of conversation sometimes, that breakup conversation. Like I've, I've, I've got to rip it. off a Band-Aid, babe. So let me ask you a question. As, is this how many appetizer the main course? This is probably like, this is going to be an amuse-bouche. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how many people, if you could think back, people you've broken up with or people have broken up with you. Is, has it been difficult? Have you always done it immediately? Has one resonate with you? Did anyone dump you in a horrible way? How, well, you what was what? the worst breakup? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, I've had to have that conversation a couple times. And it is brutal. Well, I think when you're younger, you're just, you know, you haven't lived life as much. Now, if you were to get broken up with, I mean, you just understand, like, yeah. you've been through that. So it's like the pain, you know, the pain's going to go away. It'll just suck for a minute or two. And I feel like, I'm at a point now, like as you get older, where you just, I've accepted, like, not everybody's gonna like you. Like, not everyone's gonna always like you. So, but if you're dating someone, it's good for a while, and then you come to a, the point where you gotta, you have to do them. it in a, in a nice way. I don't want, think you wanna be hurtful to someone, but right. you can't stay in it because you, you can't do something like that for somebody else. Right, right. right? right. It's, it's not easy. Yeah. Do you remember that Dane Cook joke from like 20 years ago where he's like, like people stay in relationships for stupid reasons, like they can make excuses. She's like, I would break up with them if my CDs are in his truck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Something yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. It's hard. I I, I think um I don't know. Now I honestly if I was ever single again, I, I don't think that I would care as much like breaking like I would just be like, I got my kids like I, I would be yeah. able to break up or get broken up with. And deal with it in stride better. Yeah, 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 Uh, Watch me kill myself the next relationship. (laughs) Just on, just (laughs) blow my head off with a direct energy weapon. Have you had uh, any (laughs) tough breakups on either end? The hardest breakup I had uh, was with a guy that I dated for a year over COVID. And I didn't like him at all. Was his name Dr. Fauci? (laughs) Because... That would have been a great nickname. (laughs) Yeah. Um... (laughs) I liked him in the beginning, but I was never in love, but it was COVID and I didn't really want to be alone. I was one right. of those pieces of shit that I was like, well, being with you is better than being alone. But then I reached a point where I was like, I think being with you actually sucks like more than being alone. Yeah. Did so, you just fake COVID? And, and yeah, what'd you do? Touch? He was, he wrote in a journal. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, today we're here with a sponsor for your bouncing bundle of joy. You're going to have a kid? Talking about my balls. Ah. No, we're not talking about a baby. We're talking about your baby makers. That's right. Today's show is brought to you by Manscaped. Woo! But just like babies, you delicate little guys have sensitive skin and deserve mm-hmm. products that are only skin safe. Yep. Not only skin safe, but made with safe ingredients. That's where Manscaped's platinum package comes in. From razors to shower care, this package goes above the gold standard for your body hair. So treat your beautiful boys to the world's finest toys at manscaped.com and use our code HEYBABE for 20% off plus free shipping. Dude, a couple things. Manscaped, so I I use it. All my friends use it. I love this platinum package that you spoke about, but also the lawnmower 4.0 body trimmer. That's amazing. And the weed whacker. The weed whacker, you can trim your nose hairs and the little hairs that just, you know, like little sprouts hairs that just shoot off your nuts. You can, you can, you can, that are so hard to get. If you try to get there with a razor, you're going to, you're going to nick your nuts. You're in for a a, a wild adventure. We got a bleeder. The weed whacker (laughs) nose and ear hair trimmer feature, they feature this proprietary, proprietary advanced skin safe technology to protect your delicate parts and holes. I, I, I get here. I get hairs on my ears, nose, and nuts. I use that weed whacker. I never <laughs> I use those ears, nuts. nose, and nuts. And nose and nuts. <laughs> Head and shoulders, ears, nose, nuts. Ears, <laughs> nose, nuts. <laughs> I love the, the, the lawnmower because it has yeah. a light on it, which yeah. I don't know. Like I, that, you, you might not think that's a big thing, but I've had 
shavers in the past, and yeah. the light on it, it just no. it really does help. I really like it. It's awesome. It stays and in a little charging station right by my toothbrush, and it's ready to same go Same with me. Time. And then yeah. I like this. They got the aluminum-free ultra-premium deodorant for the cologne-quality scent on the go. It's basically a deodorant for your nuts. It's, 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 it's amazing. amazing. Get 20% off and free shipping with code HEYBABE at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. And use code HEYBABE. Use the platinum package because the gold standard is no longer good enough. Yes. Um, I don't really like your spiritual journey. Like right. you're like just sitting there like crying like yourself in like a little stupid page. And I was like, I don't I could not stand this guy. Okay. Yeah. So he encouraged me to write in a journal and I was like, okay, I will. And I wrote a list of things I liked about him and a list of things I didn't like about him. And the things I liked about him, there was four. I liked his eye color. I liked the fact that he was a man. He had a penis. Right. He had okay abs. Right. And but you don't uh, like that. You don't like okay abs. Mm, that's why they were like, I mean, I just. Oh. So you said he was like ripped, so you don't like that. He was you a want- pro athlete and he uh. just sucked. And so. Um, Did he suck for- off for his actual team? Did he suck too? No, he was he was like a skier or something. Oh, okay. Or something? Yeah, he ski. I just did not give a shit about this guy so much. You never, right. you never broached the never topic. Never even was. cared. Yeah. He was yeah. also like a pro mountain biker or something, and okay. I was like, he was always he gone was Tony surfing. Hawk. It was just a. <laughs> loser yeah and so he ended up uh <laughs> usually the people that reach the, <laughs> so i'm getting a visceral reaction usually, I this guy on the, usually the people that reach the pinnacle of the sport they work in they probably suck usually. i just couldn't they're not stand dedicated good individuals and then the list of things i didn't like about Wait, this you guy the fourth thing about him you, uh, so i don't you, even remember okay oh right. it was that he was an athlete i thought his job was kind of cool okay and then the things that i didn't like about him went on and on and you thought it was on. cool he was maybe a skier <laughs> and then things that went on and on? Pages. And so I left one day to go to the grocery store, and he read my journal. And he saw that. Red flag. That's what I said. Yeah. And he, I came home, and he was just in a little ball, fetus position, just bawling his little eyes out. And he was like, oh, my God, I found out all these things you don't like about me. And I was like, I guess this is the best way for me to let you know I don't like you. Right. And then he just left. Wow. And then three days later, he moved out. Right. Wow. Oh, you were living together. Haven't spoken we to were, him since. Yeah, because COVID, I mean, I didn't want to be alone. The whole reason I was with him is because I didn't want to be alone. How quick did you move in together? Uh, it like a couple months in. Wow, that's... Yeah, that's what made quick. a move. It's typical for me. Right. You move... Listen. Giant red flag on my behalf. <laughs> have, you, yeah. have, you, have, you, have you lived with many people? Um, I was married. I lived with... Um, I was married for five years. Okay. Um... And then that guy, and I live with my boyfriend now. That's it. Three. Okay. Right. I've had really long relationships. Oh, no, there was another guy that I lived with, too. Right. And you don't want kids. I would love kids. But just not now. I'd love them right now. Right. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Does your Are you trying? Harder now? No, I want to get married first. Okay. But as soon as we get married, I'd love to have kids. See, that's cool because you got married, got divorced, and now you're like, I'm ready to get, I'll get married again. That's nice. You, yeah. believe, you believe in it. I do believe in Good. it. Yeah, I'm very monogamous too, and I love my boyfriend a lot. So I keep at. I had a picture of a diamond ring on the background of my phone. He likes to play games on my yeah. phone. He right. won't download them on his phone because he gets too addicted to them. So he just yeah. plays them on mine. I feel okay. like this is one of those episodes your boyfriend's listening to, putting the gun in and out. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, she what likes fat also- guys. She wants to break. She breaks up with what everybody. Is- gun in. <laughs> oh, I love my boyfriend. I want kids right now. Gun out. He keeps. She's talking about the skier guy that I'm embarrassed. Gun in. He's just like keeps. I'd love to get a live shot of him right now. <laughs> what is very monogamous? Yeah. Uh, is it monogamous yeah. monogamous? Yeah, because that's like, um, it's like redundant, right? You're just monogamous. Right. How, do you, how are you, you even? You said I'm very monogamous. What I, does that mean? I, uh, some people like don't, like I don't cheat. There's no. But that's monogamous. But some people are monogamous and they still cheat. <laughs> but. <laughs> that's how. That's the, that's, that's the actual that's that's the, uh, definition. It's, the only rule is to not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's kind of monogamous, like kind of a skier. <laughs> well, no, no, it's actually yeah. future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like if yeah. you've been married for seven years yes. and then you have a slip up. Right. A slip up? <laughs> then, then I've broken my monogamy. It's over. Yeah. Yeah. You can't really go back. Yeah. Right? You can go back to being monogamous, but for like that's a true. very short amount of time. So, you, okay, so that's what you mean by very monogamous, meaning you won't even, because you're There's, saying like, like for example, okay, you know what? She's actually making me think of something. I have a friend who- Prove it! Allegedly! <laughs> allegedly! I have a friend who she has cheated on her husband twice 
in 10 years, okay? He's cheated on her too, but they have a rule where they are allowed, have given each other. They do that? Where, no, where they said they were allowed to have three times throughout their marriage where they cheat. That's insane. And if it becomes more than that, like three encounters, not three different people. Like if they, they were allowed to be like anything more than that, like they wanted to like experiment with it, anything more than that, they would get divorced. And? More than three. As far as I know, the girl's at two and the guy's at one. I, I don't know. I don't know. But he's got a kid. If he doesn't cash in before she hits three, then it's going to cancel it out before he even got to. Well, no, have then an they were just. So they, and they, would do, they were saying that if it was anything more than three or multiple times with the same person, then they have to stop. Okay. But a one, a random, like, you know, if you hook up with the somebody in, yeah. on like vacation they that they, they didn't want to count that you but, you are you into the hall pass thing like he's saying no not no at all. very monogamous I'm very monogamous I'm very monogamous right okay. there's no... I like you go hard go hard or go home yeah shut up yeah blue chill what about you sal are you monogamous yes oh yeah 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 very monogamous yeah. very monogamous <laughs> yeah. extra monogamous yeah no yeah I, I think i've always been i don't know yeah i just uh if i'm in a relationship i'm i'm into the person yeah. So it's like it's not even a really a th too much of a thought, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, if I'm casually dating, I don't think you need. To, if you're casually dating, yeah, you're not very monogamous when but, you're casually dating. An, okay, yeah. but let me ask you this: uh, because as an adult, right? Like, uh, what do you have to have a conversation with someone and say, "You're my girlfriend now. I'm your boyfriend." Like, do we have like how as kids we would do that? But yeah. how do you establish? It's just you and I. Do you have to have a com? I don't know. I've been know. out of the game. I've like a no, fucking full family. No, you still have to have that. Do you literally okay. say, "Do you want to be my boyfriend"? I don't ever ask that. Okay, so how does it come? So to how did you know fruition? that Terry Black's son was your boyfriend? Right. Because and not well. Yeah. What's his name? Mike Black. <sighs> Terry Black's son is a fraternal twin. What's his name? Mark. Mark, Mark Mike Black. is his Mark, brother. Mark. Mark, Mark, Mark and, and Mike Black. Mark yeah. and Mike Black. Oh, nice. Well, I guess for him. I never had the conversation. We just never ever separated from day one. And it became like a, it just was a. It just yeah. You could kind of. He would now just what are you gonna do? Night. What are you gonna do if you find out Mark Black is journaling? <laughs> what are you gonna do if you find, what if you find out that Mark Black I, is gay? You know, if you want to be gay, because just, just yeah. hide it. Okay. Just go into the closet and write in your journal. But you did do the journal. I only are you did bi? it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I only Let did me it. Suck. No, I never, I never wrote my feelings. Like I wasn't like. Did you do I, it just to leave it as a like, as a trap yes, for him to find? That's I the knew, only reason I knew you did he it. Would find it really? And I was just like, you want. But me. isn't that a isn't that like a tough way to let <laughs> to to let him know? Like to he reads a list of everything it you had hate to about? go down like that. But why? Because he just didn't get it any other way. Like it was very obvious that I wasn't very into him. Okay. He's and just he not that just, into you. He just wouldn't. But you wouldn't be able to tell him, hey, uh, this, this is not I working. See, that's the problem is that I couldn't do it. And I yeah, would have conversations so. with my friends and my mom. And I'm like, how do I leave this guy? Why couldn't you do it, though? Because it takes balls. And I didn't have balls. But you left a, a book surgery. open. I did. You, you wrote scripture about how much you hate him. Pages. <laughs> yeah. And then you left that open. That seems like it would be I hard. Actually, you said it on purpose. Subconscious. Th yeah, that, I was the, hoping that he would read it. Because that would have been the easiest out for me. And it was. And it was. Mm. Easy. To, to this day, does he know that you, you that was a setup? I'm sure he just found out. Oh, wow. You heard it here first. That's a breakup exclusive. <laughs> Lauren Compton. <laughs> Take that, pro athlete. I'm maybe sure he's skier. reliving his nightmare of a past with me. It wasn't fun. Yeah. Wow. And all during COVID too. Yeah. He's, he's homeless think on Sixth Street. Empathy during COVID. There wasn't. Mm. No. Okay. I went through COVID for me. I went through going through COVID with kids was is different. Like going through COVID, like a lot of people experience lo a lot of people had like the best times of their life during COVID. Despite, people miss COVID. Despite the insane stress and the worry about my family and uh, hearing all that news, if you had to look for a silver lining, I got to spend. Uh, that's unprecedented. What happened in a lifetime? Maybe not have ever happened again. Right. So I get it, especially if I had would I have kids during that. You well, get to be with your kids all the well, time. Well, that's why so many people don't go haven't went back to work. Because there's work, but they're like, I had a spiritual awakening. Why am I working all day? I could spend time with my family and friends that I Sal, love. Sal, do you have kids? No. No. But I want them. Okay. I want I'm going to put a baby in you, boy. <laughs> How many kids? I'd like four. Four? Why four? 
Name them. I love kids. Name them. <laughs> Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. There you go. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm very religious. No. I don't know. Four sounds good. I like a big family. Yeah. You know? I have three sisters. Okay. Are so, you the only boy? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I like a big family. So um, I just feel like the more the merrier, you know? I want three. I want an oddball. Right. You want like a one kid who's a nut. I want one kid who like they don't like and then I befriend. Right. Yeah. Oh, like right. he's the outcast of yeah, the, she, he or she's the outcast of the kids. Yeah. So, wait, so what are you waiting for then when people say you want kids right now? But you're just like, I feel like life's going by every day. It's ticking by. Yeah. I know. I know. I tell my boyfriend the same thing. I'm Don't like, pull out. it's ticking. <laughs> so your hope yeah. is that two of your children dislike your other child. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I <laughs> come in like the hero. Right, right. And I can parent that child and just. What about got you. boy I girl? Got your What's back. your ratio, boy girl? Them. Right, right, right. Two. Right. No one likes them. They're not even popular. Right. But you are smarter. Than now them. here's the question, though. Now you what if the, the other two hear you say that? They won't. I'm smarter than them. They're the idiots. Remember? Okay. okay. But but maybe leave but, it in a journal. Let them know in the journal. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. What if your oddball kid journals? <laughs> yeah. That's a, what if your son comes out to you by sliding a journal to you. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I got to tell you something. Read chapters one through four there, right there. <laughs> well, I mean, you're a big fan of slipping notes yes. to your children, yes. having them relay messages. Yes. I think, well, my kids, my I do have what my middle daughter is, is going to be the one who she's very, um, she's got a lot of energy. She gets yelled at a lot by, you know, other parents, teachers, other parents, oh, not other parents, but how she's, do you feel about that? She's loud. Here's the thing. Here's here. My style of parenting, my girl's style of parenting, how we parent our kids, is very much like it's, it's like business chic, is what he calls it. It's business chic is where like look, if <laughs> you know you, you like as soon as you leave this house. First of all, we, we only started letting her go on play dates outside the house very recently. We're like you know you be respectful, you be nice, but. If you feel, yes. even an adult Someone's is crossing the line and yelling at yeah. you and whatever and going to, like, you defend yourself. That's why we have you in jiu-jitsu. Yeah. You defend yourself, and then you tell mommy and daddy, really mommy, and then mommy will go over there and take care of it. We, yeah. And you're going to get called, like, hello? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my daughter took a juice box from your daughter, and she put her in a Kimura lock? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. What's going on over there? Are you, are you raising them business chic? Biz yeah. My, no, my kid, I think, listen, parenting... You just feel like you're making a critical mistake like every day. You're, it's like that, I think Louis C.K. or somebody had a bit where they're like, you know, you say something to me, you reprimand them once, you're like, oh, irreparable damage for life. Yeah. And you feel that way as a parent where you're like, but I have to like yell at them and intervene right now, but I also don't want to stifle their creativity right. and I want them to express who they are. And then you're like, but I can't let my kid, you know, I can't let my kid call another kid a sucker at the park, which right. is what she did. So I'm like, I can't. She, my kid fully called another child. <laughs> she screamed it at some kid going down the slide. I swear to God. You, well, you can't get canceled for that. Uh, no, a full word. That, that She said the word full. Good for as, her. As this kid was. How'd she I learn swear that to God, word? Delilah. He got, <laughs> he, this kid cut her off. At, they were all waiting to go down a slide. And some little kid, <laughs> came, I swear to God, pushed past her and went down the slide. And she goes, you. <laughs> and then she came down the slide after him and then didn't me and we just saw her yell that and we were like hold oh, we, were we were there it was at a birthday party so how did you explain that to everybody well she i don't know <laughs> nobody said anything we because it was like a, it was like in an indoor um you know like trampoline park type thing so we, oh, she shit. called her a <laughs> and we kind of just moved it's, on. Me and her mom like were just, you know, the top of the worst curses, like you know, yeah, it's so Hawk vulgar. Sucker. But yeah. the problem that's is, a fun word. It is fun. Well, that's it why I stopped fun. doing my, the pot. We used to do a podcast from my house, but I stopped doing it because I was like, she can hear. You know, you get lost when you're in a yeah. podcast. You're yelling about stuff and whatever. And I, I yelled house last night. I felt so bad every time I cursed. I, like, I know my daughter came down the stairs cursing up a storm this morning. <laughs> She's like, "What the <laughs> were you guys doing last night?" You <laughs> Are you smoking weed, you junkies? Where's my Cheerios? I'm like, Sal ate them. He was high. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. Okay, that, that's a good main course question. What's a dessert question? Um, what is the sweetest thing you've ever done for your significant other? Oh, Jesus. The sweetest? Uh, the sweetest thing you've ever done for someone... 
for someone that you were dating or <sighs> uh, it's, it's hard to recollect. No, Sweetest. I mean not because I not because I can't think of one because like Are is you not what you operate a, from a place of you operate from that I'm place not. all the time. There's a lot of people that aren't that romantic. I don't leave like a rose in the fridge that she found to find or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> Like, like Ron, mean, Ron like, White said the sweetest thing he ever did was put someone on his insurance. Okay, yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's very nice. That uh, was super nice. I've never had anyone uh, put me on their insurance. I've you know what I've done? I've but again, see this see now like I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm immediately buying flowers and putting my girl on my insurance after this. Yeah. <laughs> but I because I'm realizing now like most of the I guess what you would consider sweet things, they're for my daughters. Like I will like send my daughters cards telling them how much I love them and like put them like I'll mail them to my house mm -hmm. and it'll be like mail from them. But mm -hmm. it's just me That's saying great. how much I love like randomly, yeah. like no birthday, nothing like just I love you. And I my daughter has them like I think she's like, great. I That's think. Awesome. And then or like I have this little thing I got my eight year old where it's like I can text it because she doesn't have a phone. I can text it. And it's this thing it has it's got a big heart on it and it'll like make like these circles and the heart will spin oh, when cute. i send it a message and it'll be like i love you like daddy thing whereas where their mom though like my <laughs> girl like yeah i don't <laughs> i get her i take her um i got her a pedicure <laughs> um i what have i done Sal, you act like he's not doing enough i took her what? to puerto rico uh, she's from puerto rico though. i took her to puerto rico that was nice. A trip is super Italy. nice. I took her to Italy. Okay. Italy, Puerto Rico. Yes, Venetia knows. She's planned it. Um, <laughs> so, um, 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 but what, what else? Vacations are, I mean. Vaca but I'm talking about something that's like simple. Have you ever done the rose petals? Like. No, she's allergic. Candles. Um, romantic evenings. Surprise birthday parties I've done for her. That's sweet. There you go. She's oh, on my insurance. I did insurance. that too. I've done that. I've done that. And she's on my insurance as well. She's on my insurance <laughs> to that. So, but what is. Uh, well, what's the nicest thing that's been done yeah, for what's, you? Can or you have an example? I'm asking for a friend. I'm super romantic and I, I love doing things for people that I'm with. I don't know what the sweetest thing I've ever done was. Oh, actually. For. Um, one time, my significant other came home, and I was laying on Not the, the guy kitchen you're table. No, it was my ex-husband. Gun back in his mouth. Here we go. <laughs> I've done some really sweet stuff for Mark, but I think the nicest thing I ever did was when I was married. Right. And maybe if you marry me, I'll do something extra special for you, too. But <laughs> when I was married, I uh, was laying on the kitchen table naked, and I had... Um, That's so sweet. Thank you. Very nice. I thought that was already a grand gesture. <laughs> and I had um, those big leaves all over me and I had sushi based <laughs> all over my body. And then I had I had sewn together black curtains. So when he came home, he had to like move the curtains out of the way. And like it was like a whole set, like a whole scene. And right. I had all of this like sake and I had like everything set up. And so he, ate, he sat at the table and ate dinner off of me. And then I would just feed myself as I got hungry. Okay. Okay. Who, who placed all the sushi on you? I did. Okay. Yeah, I was just laying there and I was just like. He had no so, clue about that. And no, he, just, he had no idea. He just okay. came home for Valentine's Day and I was just laid out on the table. Okay. Right. And did he return ready. that favor? He was very romantic too. Okay. All the way up until yeah. the day he cheated on me. There it is. He wasn't yeah. very monogamous. Maybe next time he'll think before he, he cheats. And I dug my key yeah. into <laughs> the side yeah. of him. Did you, when you found out he cheated on you, were you like relieved, like I can get out of this marriage? Yes. Or you were shocked? No, I was happy about it. That was, was his I journal. Was at the, yeah. 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 At the end of the marriage, I was pretty unhappy. Right. And so when he cheated on me, because I never would have left. Right. Because I was like... I yeah. was married, and I was like, you know, I. Do you hate I, him now, or are you? No. Time, but you. You're I a, hated him for two years. But now you're like, you could see him, and it doesn't matter. Yeah. You're fine. You could see him with the girl he cheated on you with. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. I even gave him money to start a restaurant. Really? Mm hmm Wow. Did the what? restaurant do well? Wait. It's doing great. Wait, wait. He cheated on you. You got divorced, and then you funded his business. Cheating on me was the best thing he. He ever opened did up a sushi me. restaurant. <laughs> 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 did he? No. Oh. But that would have been so good. Uh, what was his business? It was an Italian restaurant. Okay. Wow. And you, so you were part owner or? Uh, an investor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Silent wow. investor. Wow. Is he a chef? 
No, he's he's just the manager of the restaurant, but he's Is his name from Joe Italy. DeRosa? No. <laughs> okay. I just had him on my show, though. Oh, Joe Joe's DeRosa. not monogamous at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you cheating pig piece of shit. He is not a monogamous <laughs> yes, person. Yes, let's kill Joe. Yes, yes, Man, yes. Man, I love Joe, but he's never even lived with a girl. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. yeah. He, he's got too many video games. He, yeah. There's nowhere for a girl to fit. <laughs> Look at this. Dying wife, ass husband. Can I have sex with my ex one last time? Ew. Wow. What a loser. Why wow. not? Die? No, but the wife. No, the wife asked the husband. The wife is dying. At that point, just let her just cheat. Don't tell, <laughs> ask him. Why does he Why care? Do, you're She's on the way out. You're going to leave soon. him with that forever? Just go do it if you got to do it. Don't ask him, can I sleep with my ex one last time? Yeah. No? Yeah. People don't have manners? I, I guess that she's thinking, she was thinking like this is the right thing to do is to ask my husband before, even though I'm dying, the wife is dying, I want to be right by him. And You're I him. she had sex with the ex. You're him. She asked you. She's dying. What do you do? What do you say? How do you handle that? Um, I think I would be like, look, I don't, I mean, you really put me on the spot here. Like, I know you're going to die, but like. Why would you do this to me? I don't want to make it about me, but like, I would. How's honestly, that gonna make me I'd feel? Let her. I I would say I would say yeah. I would say do you? I'd say you know what? Go ahead, do it. See you in hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would do it. I uh, to be honest with you, and then do you want about to tell you? If any woman I was ever with came to me and was like, "Can I cheat and have sex with someone else?" I would, I, I've never from the beginning cared about that. I don't know why. I've cared about other things, but I don't know why for me, if you cheated on me, I like almost don't take it personal. Like it doesn't affect my ego at all. I, I don't know why. Other things do, but not that. Yeah. Like when guys go nuts, like you fucking cheated on me. Like, like if you, if my girlfriend was out till four o'clock in the morning, I hadn't heard from her. The last thing I'd be thinking is she's with another guy. And if she was with another guy, I would almost be relieved because I'd be like, oh, she's not dead. All my head, my, I'm like a mother. Like I would be like, if you don't text me back in an hour, I think it's because you something horrific is happening. You're dead. Yeah. You're on drugs. You got hit yeah. by a bus. I would never think it's because you're sucking another guy's cock. Right. I would never think that. Right. Which is weird. Clean show. Because most guys, yes. Most guys would think that, right? Like you would mm. think if you hadn't hear from your girlfriend for hours, no, I'm not, not saying this not, currently, but no, in no, your no, life, no, you no, have. I'm saying I think that would be the natural. Uh, yeah, like but see, me, it's like automatically like I think they're she's dead. You mean like four in the morning, she's out, and you don't know what she. I would think well, she's no, dead. I mean, first we just be worried about it. My first thing wouldn't be like, is she out cheating? Right. I would be worried with hell is she, she okay? But I know I just I mean I would it would bother me if someone cheated. I mean like you would take it personal. I pretty 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 much yeah. <laughs> I think it's a I pretty, don't think maybe I don't I think get it's close a pretty personal thing. Then. I think that's what it is. I don't get. Cause I went it's not even an ego thing. It's like, what what's going on? Where's the respect? Like, yeah, you know, like yeah. For me, I, I don't know. For me, I'm just like, there's so many people in the like, just whatever. There is a lot of people in the world. Eight bill. Yeah, eight billion of them. I don't know. Mark, Mark Jeff Bezos were 163 billion, worth 163 billion dollars. Point one. Wow. They had that point one in there. That what point is, so one point is one a, is a is a hundred million, right? It is right. That point one is a hundred million. Point one is a hundred million. Yep. Yep. Jeff Bezos, billionaire. Yeah. There you go. So the green flag. I've never dated a billionaire. Uh, but you date exclusively, I'm sure, millionaires. Mm. Right. You, do you make sure of that? How do you vet that? Um, do you have I, to send it's, a bank It's statement? not even that I vet that. Like, when I met Mark, I thought he was a busboy. Right. Mm -hmm. I met him at the restaurant. He delivered the food. I was like, oh, thank you. And then he yep. sat down with us, and I was like, what are you doing? Right. And then I went on a date with him. But you knew he was the owner when you went on the date. No, he didn't. No, I didn't, know that he, I didn't know that he was. He owned the restaurant for days. Yeah. Okay. So he, you dated him when you thought he was his busboy. Yeah, but he was like a really hot busboy. Okay. Right. So All I right. was like, I like this. Right. And yeah, then, so I actually don't bet that. But I think, but then I saw his lake house. So then you knew he had and some money. And I was money. like. And he's like, you know how many dishes? But that it's was? his money. It's not family money. It's his money. He was like, you know how many he, dishes? He's I washed earned, it. Yeah, earned it. Yeah, he's earned it. I like that. He's earned it. I like that. Yeah, he's a hard but, worker. Because I know you're born. People are born into circumstance, and I understand that. But sometimes when somebody's like, "Oh, I'm wealthy," I'm like, "Your parents were. You I didn't know. do anything." He grew up super poor. Right. From like a little old town in Texas. Those poor blacks. Good for him. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> This been hey babe. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Wait, do, what should we? Yeah, yeah. Well, she plugs stuff in the beginning. Do you want anything else to plug? Like anything? Uh, follow the first date show. That's it. Follow it. You can find me at I am Lauren Compton on everything. Okay, cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, Appreciate thank it. you. What a great first date. Great. That yeah, was a great first I date. I can't wait for the second one. Well, oh, we get a second one. Green flags. Hey, green babe, flags. got green flagged. <laughs> now, have fun, you journaling homos. <laughs> <laughs> get, get merch. Yeah. We just ordered new merch. <laughs> get can it. Can we make those t-shirt journaling homos? Journaling homos. Journaling homos. <laughs> that could be your merch, yeah. <laughs> Don't be a flake, don't run away.